We are Betty and Cora, live with Rika, winner of the Peak Performance Project 2013. Woo! 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 Spray, uh, double high kick yeah, on that one, Betty. Double high kick. kick. That's serious. <laughs> it's kind of a big deal here. Rika, for our viewers that aren't necessarily aware of the Peak Performance Project, you just won a hundred and two point seven thousand dollars. Yep. How does that feel? Uh, pretty amazing. Yeah. I still don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> it kind of feels like a dream. It's kind yeah. of starting to come into my brain, but it's not really there yet. I don't. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was just like, wait, a, wait a second. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a lot of money. <laughs> so um, I'm sure this is all like very new, but what are your plans, um, you know, for your music career with that money? Like, where do you foresee yourself in the next year going? Um, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> um, I'm planning to record a record with Ryan Goldemond again in uh, May. Cool. And until then, I'm just going to be writing, writing new songs and stuff. And then, yeah, that's pretty much all I can think of right now. And I have to go back and look at my marketing report <laughs> <laughs> that, that I applied for. So we wanted to ask you about the last time you were in the Peak Performance Project in 2010, under your other band, your previous band name. Christina Maria. Um, we're just wondering what it was like for you the second time round and if you feel like having already gone through it once gave you kind of like an advantage the second time, just having that experience already under your belt and yeah. Yeah, uh, it totally, it totally helped me. Um, three years ago when I did it, it was like totally different. It was just like a totally different thing. I was in such a different place. And like, I don't know, it was, it just really showed me my weaknesses in the best way possible, mm -hmm. like the most positive way possible. And then I took two years and just, I don't know, I, I got powered up by, by not placing. <laughs> I just worked harder. <laughs> so, so it really, it really changed me as an artist for sure. That's, that's amazing and it's great that you mm -hmm. can take what you learn from that because I feel like that's such a great advantage to any peak performance project um, contender that they get to go through boot camp and just take away so much from it even if they don't place in the top five or three. So mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> cinnamon says yes. Cinnamon, yes. <laughs> You're cinnamon. Sorry. <laughs> I'm rosemary. <laughs> Parsley. <laughs> Um, yeah, like, like, uh, Cora just touched on, you did have a different name about three years ago. When did you decide to change your name and what was that, uh, deciding factor? Uh, about two years ago, I changed the name. Um, I was writing my, my new record for like, it took me like a year, mm -hmm. like one whole year of writing, like mostly just writing. And by the end of that, the music was so different and I was just in such a different place that I just decided to change my name to Rika instead of Christina Maria. <laughs> Such a strong <laughs> name. It's, yeah. Like, it's like, yeah, Christina Maria is like, it's nice, but it, I didn't choose my, I didn't choose that name. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's kind of like unicorns and rainbows sounding, so. I wanted to be like, <laughs> Rika! <laughs> so your last album, Kodiak, that you have released, um, you kind of talk about writing from the perspective of different animals, deep sea animals, um, crows. How, like, were you inspired to write from such a different perspective? Um, well, I wanted to write a concept album just to grow like that and to like have like a focus. Mm -hmm. And I chose to write from animal perspective just as an answer to living in a world where we're hurting the environment a lot mm -hmm. and we're not 
really like I don't know it's just like normal and that's weird <laughs> <laughs> so I just yeah that's why I did that <laughs> cool do you have a spirit animal um right now I'm not sure I'm not sure I I was more focusing on the album and I know that the album has like the bear the bear spirit mm -hmm. animal it's like I don't know, whenever I felt bad about it taking so long or whatever, I just kind of like, oh, but it's just like a bear, <laughs> it's okay, <laughs> it's alright, it's like the bear life cycle, so, uh, <laughs> I don't know, somehow it made me feel better. And our last question for you is, we're wondering if you have any advice for any future peak performance projects. Um, contenders. Contenders. Well, I really like learned this time that I push myself too hard, mm -hmm. and like it's important and healthy to like just be patient with yourself. Mm -hmm. It's important to push yourself too, but like you can't kill yourself. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like I I'm learning how to be more patient with myself and like take breaks when I really need them, mm -hmm. so then I can be full powered and ready to ready to go you know but yeah because I remember like three years ago I, I was really pushing myself hard and it was just like terrible mm -hmm. and I was really like sad and, and just like hard on myself when burnt out I, yeah it was yeah. bad but I feel like I'm better now it's, it's awesome <laughs> I'm happy I'm growing yay, yay. yay. <laughs> amazing Um, well, we got something to celebrate this moment because this is a huge win oh for you um, and also Canadian music. Yay! Woo! Um, so, without further ado, we have some Woo! champagne. Oh, Yay! Right. Um, I feel like you guys are awesome. When we, when we get that open, we also have another little gift for you um, because we think you're really cool. We wanted you to have this. Oh! License for being cool. Just <laughs> <laughs> got a little sewing on the back. Betty and Cara love you. Stay awesome. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. No Thank problem. You. <laughs> Me, you got my cool license. You're being so awesome. <laughs> well, I think I think that you need to pop this. Whoa. Are you comfortable with that? Maybe <laughs> aim that. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, this well, glass is actually for you. Oh my it's a very goodness, special one. guys! I have yeah. to pour yours first. Oh, <laughs> Jesus! So polite. <laughs> Manners. We also um, brought a few extra Cheers. glasses Thank for our, our lovely cameraman and awesome. Sir Timothy over here on the couch. Mm. Cheers! Thank you. You can't see them, but they still need they champagne. Still need <laughs> okay. So, so cheers! For you. Congratulations! Yeah, congratulations! Cheers. Mademoiselle Rika. Cheers! 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 <laughs> Yay! To winning the peak performance. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, congratulations! Congratulations! <laughs> yeah, group hug. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Thank you! Thank you guys! Thank you!